Alright, so for a couple days of planning and designing, as you see, I have my biopeller reactor before, after. 6 inch diameter tube, uh, roughly it's about 12 inches high. It was a flange type at the top. Actually went into Home Depot and I got this, um, I guess they call it a plumbing drain cap or something. But uh, here you go anyway, it's a, it's a twist off, right? Put in your bio pellets, big enough to put your hand inside of it. It's about uh, four, and a, four and a half inch, five inches in diameter. Uh, the pump is uh, Eheim Compact 2000 Plus. Rated for about 250, no, I'm sorry, wrong. Rated at about, say, 260 to 530 gallons per hour. There is a control knob on this side that allows you to adjust the gallons per hour. And so uh, here we go. Caps on. Top valve on here that you see. Sorry, let me adjust my focus. There we go. So this is a half inch diameter tube that's going to be coming out to the tank. Um, it's going to be running with a, a, a control valve towards the tank so I can adjust how much uh, nutrients, uh, the, the bacteria I want into the tank. And the circulation pump will cycle the, the bio pellets in a loop cycle here. So I have another control valve that's going to allow me to adjust how much flow I need inside of the the reactor according to the bio pellets now mind you guys this this reactor that I built here six inch diameter it is pretty big but I left it that way because you know what I have a 75 gallon tank I can put approximately 400 milliliters of, uh, of bio pellets uh, here we go from bulk reef supply I did purchase them this one here is 500 milliliters, but uh, but uh, 75 gallon, depending on how many fishes, corals you have, you can put anywhere between three to 400 milliliters of bio pellets, or you can run up to almost a thousand milliliters, or plus, and you can still be okay with uh, with running the same reactor. Uni seals on two spots prevent the water from coming out. And you have a, a break in the cycle here, so you can uh, take it out, service the pumps. You got suction cups at the bottom, allows you to take it off. The whole pump, uh, this here, everything on the outer side of the uni seals are seal tight. Everything on the inside is not. So, for example, if I show you here. You can actually get away with taking off all the tubes. Oops, sorry, sorry, a little shaky there, a little shaky. But anyways, uh, yeah, need two hands to take it out. This is obviously turning here, but it's it's, it's all right, not a huge deal. And uh, putting it back, very easy. Lock it in. But here you go, this is all custom guys, all made from home. Uh, everything here, the cost on this, I believe retail is looking around, given a close estimate depending on which manufacturers make them, with the pump online you're looking about at least $350 to $500 for this, uh, this device here. Um, what I've spent on it, 80 bucks on the pump, approximately $24 on the plumbing, all the white plumbings with the, with the valves, the uni seals, uh, this top two piece flange here, the screw on lid, and uh, this inner female threaded part cost me altogether $14. Plastics I got from a local plastic store. It's called Plastic World. Um, you'll be surprised. Bottom sheet was two dollars. Top piece again was two dollars. Um, they also cut for you too, so it saves me a lot of hassle. So again, before, after. 
Let me know if you guys have any questions. I will be running this device very shortly after all the glue dries and chemical wash too. And I'll show you a full update on exactly how it runs. Thank you for watching.